So let's export a character from iClone or Character Creator 4, bring it into NVIDIA Omniverse's audio to face, do the facial animation automatically, and then export it back out to iClone 8. So I'm in Character Creator 4, which is an amazing tool for creating your own characters. So if you hate character creation like me, look in the description below. So from here with the character selected, file, export, USD Omniverse, from here, I just want the character selected and I want to make sure include Omniverse audio to face mesh is ticked. Let's go export, find the location and I'm just gonna call it Charo one just for now, save. Now opening up Nvidia's Omniverse, click on exchange. We've got Omniverse audio to face. I've already got it installed. Press the launch button. And with the latest update, this is a lot quicker to load. Now expanding that open, I'm gonna go file new, don't save, cause I want a fresh template. Let's come up into character transfer. Maybe we should bring in our character first. So let's go find our character. And you can see that we've got our standard character 01 USD file as a whole character. But there is a folder here called A2F, which is obviously probably audio to face. And we've got two USD files in here. I'm gonna click and drag the first one in to make sure it's in the stage and also the next one as well. The first one that I imported was the mesh and the second one is the teeth. So let's close that back over into character transfers. We're gonna select our mesh. There we go. On the skin, let's press plus and we can see that up is up, forward is wrong. I believe it's minus X. There we go. So now we've got that correct. Next thing we've got to assign our gum teeth, so on and so forth. So let's go into cavity, main root, cavity, cavity, teeth are lower, select the mesh, and that'll be our gums. Then we come and select our tongue, and we'll make that. The left and right eye doesn't get exported, and I believe they're looking at fixing that now. But with the pivot, we will select compute from selected mesh. And then with additional meshes, we're gonna go static. We're gonna press uh, the upper and we'll go plus on that one. Now, if we go set up character, yes, I would like to proceed. It has now created these three characters. The reasoning behind it, I can't remember, but we're just kind of smashing through this as more of a reference to you guys and me. So I don't forget. With that, let's select our preset custom CC3 plus and yes, please. And now that's kind of created the linkages between, I think this is the main mesh, which is Mark. But let's come down into here, post wrap. We're gonna click begin post wrap. There we go. So now we've come back to our original mesh. I'm gonna get rid of those dots. Um, correspondive, that one there. Let's untick that. Jaw motion prep, let's click on that one. Yes, please. Tongue mesh fitting. And you'll see our tongue goes all the way down there. But if you go tongue mesh post wrap, it'll go away. Lovely. So that is all done. If we come up into the audio to face tab, let's go A to F pipeline. Okay, stop. This is, this will stuff you up. Make sure you've got the mark mesh selected, then go A to F pipeline. We're going to go full face core. Uh, yes, attach please. And technically if we were to press play, the beige hue on the wall. It works. Sick. Now there's a little bit more of a setup we still need to do. Attached prims on the mark model. We can see here that we've got mark, which is our mesh. And then we've got mark open mouth. We need to get the tongue. So we can expand this bottom denture group. Uh, tongue will go there. And the lower denture X form. So let's select that one. And we'll press the plus sign there. Now I am going to open up a different file. And you can see because I selected that folder, all the audio files within that folder have come across. So if I just go press play. If you find this helpful, subscribe. Sick. <laughs> I forgot about that, do it. And this is where we can come in and kind of auto adjust our faces. Um, so we can go, you know, give it a bit of a cheekiness. We can press P to play. If you find this helpful, subscribe. Do it. And you can kind of see as we change these sliders around. If you find this helpful, subscribe. Do it. <laughs> but there's another cool feature that's been implemented fairly recently, and that is the generate emotion keyframe. So if I select that, 
it'll set a whole bunch of keyframes on the emotions that is being portrayed in the audio. So I'm going to assume that probably this bit here will hopefully be a little bit of anger. Do it. So let's have a quick play. If you find this helpful, subscribe. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go with that. All right, we've got all that set up now. Now we want to export all this data and put it into iClone. So from here, A to F data conversion tab, let's find our place to save it. And we'll just call this one, do it. And from here, we select input any mesh. This one will be our uh, result. So CC base body result and our blend shape mesh will be our original mesh that we brought in. So for instance, main root, Caleb, Caleb, body base, CC3 base body. Set up a blend shapes solve. And here we can just export everything as is. There is a preset. I don't know what's the difference, but all I'm going to do now is export as JSON and we'll export that. Now there is a plugin that we need to download for iClone 8. There is a link in the description for this. You click download. Once you've downloaded it, get the contents and make sure you unzip it into your Reillusion folder, iClone 8, bin 64, open plugin, there's mine, lovely jubblies. However, there is installation instructions on how to do that on the add-ons page. Now let's go ahead and import our animation. We go into plugins up the top here, Omniverse Audio to Face, import Omniverse Audio to Face. Let's find our motions that we created. So the do it one and the sound will be do it. Let's now click apply. And so now if you press play, you find this helpful, subscribe, do it. So you can see his eyebrows are still a little bit stationary and his mouth, I wouldn't mind the mouth opening a little bit more. So what I'm actually gonna do now is select the expression clip and then click on the curve editor. Obviously if it's not here, Windows, curve editor there. And I wanna find mouth open because I want the mouth to open some more. All the way down the bottom here, there we go. And so if I right click, select all keys, and then I'm gonna click on the scale button and you can see how we've got a scale below and underneath. So I'm gonna click that, I'm just gonna drag it up. And now if we press play, just turn the sound back on. If you find this helpful, subscribe. Do it. Uh, the other thing is I wanna give him a little bit more of a smile as well. So let's go smiles, right click, select all. And I might just wanna move this one up. So let's click and drag it up. And I might just scale it so the bottom comes up a bit. How are we looking now? If you find this helpful, subscribe. Now you can see kind of like at the end bit here where it says do it. It's kind of just like one mouth open. Um, but that's because of the audio as well. Uh, so if we come down to open, we've just got that little notch right there. And that's that do it. This is where I mentioned earlier, the audio is fairly important it needs to be normalized. So it probably should have been a little bit louder. So actually, you know what, let's try that. So here I've normalized the audio, made it a little bit bigger. Let's have a look if there's any difference. If you find this helpful, subscribe, do it. The other thing we're gonna look at is in the exporter, maybe the temporal, temporal smoothing. We can probably bring that one down a smidgen and let's have a look how that looks. So I'm going to do it, yes. Export as JSON, yes please. Back into iClone, let's put this one here. Uh, let's go load, do it, throw in our audio again, and we'll see if there's much of a difference. If you find this helpful, subscribe, do it. We get a little bit more, so I'm just gonna update the curves again on this one. So the other thing we can do is use facial motion capture as well, just to do the upper bit a little bit better. Now I am looking pretty scruffy, but we can use the live face motion live thing <laughs> to work on some more of the face. So with the character selected, we can go into motion live. Let's just connect up my phone, which is 192.168.1.100. And I'm going to press enter and we'll click on the little green button. Now we can see that that is now connected. From here, let's select live face. Beautiful. If I go preview, and goes, 
we know that it works. Now, because we've already got the mouth set up, I want to get rid of the mouth, get rid of the chin. I don't want the head movement. Oh, we can for this one. I'm going to do a blend. And from here, set zero pose. So I'm going to look at the camera and just click set zero pose with a neutral face. Beautiful. And then we go, let's do a recording. I can't remember what I say. <laughs> Even though I've listened to it a dozen times already. If you found this helpful, subscribe. Do it. Beautiful. Let's have a look. If you find this helpful, subscribe. Do it. <laughs> it's a little bit extreme. And that's pretty much the process of going from NVIDIA's Omniverse audio to face to iClone. So we've got the lips set up, however you want to go.